Bukaki? Pedro! Oh, this is an horror. Uh, but please, will you step into the tap room? Better if we talk here. What I have to say is only for your ears. As you wish. But please, sit yourself. Oh, it's a shame. But I always imagined one day your excellency would come in here and be asking me for a bottle of Madeira. Conky, there's not a bottle of Madeira between here and Philadelphia. It's a year since I've tasted such a material. The bottle is yours. Drink with me. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't have a drop touch my lips. It is yours alone. Now, what would you have to talk with me about? I hear you have no love for our enemy. Love? Jesus Christ, I see the bastards in hell. And you can keep your mouth shut? Like a trap. Very well. I want this house tomorrow. All day. I want it for my headquarters. I'm going to cross the river tomorrow with 2,000 men and attack. You mean the bastards at Trenton? Yes, the bastards at Trenton. General, may I take you up on your kind offer? When you came in, General, did you not notice the ice on the river? Nothing to bother us. Not now, sir. But the Delaware is a strange and curious river. The frost comes and it pours forth into the northern valleys. She'll probably be cakes of ice in a day or two, and it'll get worse for every day after. We cross tomorrow. Oh, for Christ's sake, General. Forgive the impertinence, but why not wait for spring? This is a cause I love. It's an army I love. I love it, too, more than I can say. Then why not wait? Because if I do not cross tomorrow, there will be no army. Yes. It's Christmas Day, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You always share with cold water? Well, I damn well better be used to cold water before the day is out. Now you can bank on that, by God. If you go through with it. Oh, we're crossing, Glover. Today. At nightfall. May I ask you a question, sir? If I said no, would it dissuade you? In this case, sir? No, it wouldn't. Well, then, by all means, Glover, what is it? Would you attack the Hessians in open daylight? That is a damn fool question. I have no intention of attacking in daylight. But would you? Glover, speak plainly, if you will. Very well. Let us say we push off the boats at half past five. Full darkness. That will give us six and a half hours for crossing. You plan to march to Trenton at midnight. A night march in this weather with men who will be wet, freezing, and already exhausted. If you can whip them and the guns along at two miles an hour, you can get to Trenton before dawn. We will do three miles an hour. Maybe I'm not saying you will, I'm not saying you won't. But there's ice in the river. And as God is my witness, there's no man on earth who can carry that army across in six hours. Or ten hours. So you will be coming to Trenton in daylight. Providing we can cross that damn river at all. That last you said. Son. Providing we can cross at all. Glover. Yes, sir. You have been a pain in my ass and a thorn in my side since the day we met. 
You'd be a general today if you hadn't burned the ass of every man on my staff. Well, being a general, it's more private soldiers we need, not more generals. True enough. You are a hard man to like. But you saved my army at Brooklyn Heights, and you saved it at Throg's Neck, and you saved it when they drove us across the North River. You have more guts than any man I have ever known. And you're a damned good soldier. <laughs>